So, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, is the SB24 worth it? Oops, that was a slip there. Watch where I'm going, eh? So, one of the questions I get asked all the time is, is the SP24 worth it? And I would say absolutely. Now, first off, go and watch the video that I did on what order should you buy kit for metal detecting? Because that will kind of tell you where you should be putting a coil in your order of things to purchase. There are other things more important that you should get sorted out first. But when you come to the point of, oh, hello, it's, uh, yeah, it's gotten a bit lively. Hope you can still hear me. Um, when it comes to the point of getting a new coil and you're faced with the question of, should I get a DTUC Ultimate 13? Should I get an SP22? Should I get an SP24? Or should I just not? I would say get an SP24. That's your absolute first choice for a coil. It's, it is brilliant. Everybody that I know who has ever bought one puts it on their machine and says it's never coming off again. Now, I'll add a caveat to that. The Ultimate DTEC 13 is very good. It covers a lot more ground than the SP24. It is more stable than the SP28, uh, and it just works better. It's a big coil. There's no, there are places you don't want a big coil. There are places you want a small coil, and that's where your SP24 comes in. The separation on that thing is phenomenal. You will get in nooks and crannies. You will be able to differentiate between tiny little pieces right next to each other. Um, little cut quarters and things like that. So an SP24 should be your first coil. I don't recommend the SP22, but I will add, I don't have one. I have not used one. I just don't see the point in spending the money on something that is round and essentially the same as the SP28, just a little smaller. I would much rather get the one that's oval in shape so that I have more scope to go in between bits of stubble and things that a round one won't do. So I think it's a better buy to buy the SP24 because of the oval shape as opposed to the SP22, which is the round shape. Now, if you are never, ever, ever any place where you are going to need to get in between things and nooks and crannies and need really good separation, then perhaps the DTEC Ultimate is a better choice for you for your first coil. Um, it's, I have not experienced it being any deeper than the SP28 or the SP24 or 22. I think they're all about the same depth. The advantage to it is it covers more ground on your swing. It's a big coil. It has the same depth and it covers more ground. So if you need a lot of ground coverage, you don't need to get in nooks and crannies, then consider the DTEC Ultimate 13. It works better than the SP28. It just does. It works better than the stock coil. Um, if you need separation, if you need to get in corners and nooks and crannies, you know, I think the SP24 is absolutely the way you want to go. I think that is the first coil purchase and that is the first one I bought. I am so pleased with it and I generally use it almost all of the time. So that is question one. <laughs>